Most utility pocket knives have a can opener. It's a useful thing, but they're not all the same, and some are better than others. We're going to have a look at two or three of them and see what the difference is, and one of them is so much better, it'll take your breath away. Stay tuned. So here we have a few utility knives. Uh, some of these are actually military ones. This is the British Army, the American military one. This one I had since my Air Force days, so that's a real one. Uh, this is based on the German Army one, although this one was made by Victorinox back in the 80s. The standard German Army one has this blade with the saw and the opener and this knife blade. Victorinox did make these under license in the 80s, as I say, but they had this extra blade. But otherwise, this is identical to the German Army one. And then we have a couple of Victorinox uh, ones. And they all, all the modern ones, have the same tin opener, can opener. And those are a little bit different from all the others. But let's just have a look at one or two of these just to get an idea of what's the difference is. So these military ones are essentially the same. There's slight differences, but there's not much in it. Uh, there is a slight curvature in the English Army one, whereas the American military one is dead straight. Uh, this gives a slight advantage to a right-hander, uh, but they can be used essentially ambidextrously, whether you're cutting with your right hand or your left. The one thing these openers have in common is the cut is pulled towards you, so the tin rotates away from you as you're cutting in. Similarly with the German one, it, it can be used as a cap lifter, but it does come to more, more of a point. Again, it's symmetrical, so it could be used left-handed or right-handed. And what I would say is, is that when you press in with this, again, it cuts in and it as you move you're cutting towards yourself and the tin is rotating, rotating uh, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, uh, if you're right, doing it right-handed. So the tin is rotating away from you and you're cutting towards yourself. Now, the Vitorinox is a little bit interesting in as much as it definitely leans over to the right, which means it's meant to be held in the right hand and cutting as a right-handed tool. What I will say as well, although it's not so good for ambidextrous people, it also has a very different cutting edge in as much as the cutting edge is this forward portion here. So you're actually cutting away from yourself and the tin is rotating towards you in a clockwise manner. And you can use this in one of two ways. The first way is pretty ordinary. The second way is pretty impressive. We'll have a look in a moment. Now, to demonstrate the three different kinds of opener here, uh, we'll use this soup can using the American military one. You hook onto the edge of the, there's a lip here. You hook onto the edge with that, and then with the pointy bit, you just press in. And then you pull back a little bit and do it over and over and over again and slowly but surely the tin opens. Uh, similarly, if you're using the German version, you do exactly the same. Now, because this isn't a sharp point, but it does narrow down, you need a tiny bit more pressure, but because this is so long, you have that extra leverage. So it really does cut in perfectly easily. The only problem is it is a little bit jagged there, which could be, you know, nicer, but there we go. It will get the tin open. You will eat. Now, with the Victorinox, you have a different kind of blade. First of all, the cutting edge is actually a sharpened cutting edge on the front of it. Uh, and it also, it's slightly asymmetrical. So again, this is intended to be used in the right hand with the tin controlled by the left hand and the tin is going to rotate clockwise in this case as we go around. And it's very similar. You hook underneath and you press in and that creates a cut, but now you push forward and do it again 
and again and again and again it's very similar to what the american one did except obviously you're moving in the opposite direction there is however an interesting trick the victorinox can be used in a way that the others can't and it's incredibly efficient but you have to be careful because you could cut yourself or have a little accident so you want to be very very careful when you're doing this you might even want to put your left hand in a glove safety first but i'm not going to use one i'll show you what i do and i use this trick more often than you might think because it works so efficiently it's incredible have a look so here once again we put the victrinox in press the edge up to the lip push in and literally push and you'll see that i'm actually able to just glide through this at breakneck speed and that's got the can open super quick now of course if you have arthritis or some other physical condition where you don't have the strength to do that last technique just use it in the conventional way and that's fine because you don't need to be at all strong to be able to do the standard technique the sliding technique does require a little bit of welling a little bit of gusto but what i will say is is that it works incredibly well uh, for safety only think in terms of pushing it forward two to three centimeters say an inch uh, and then recalibrate because if you try to push it too far if you try to go too far around the it can slip and that's where you can hurt your left hand but it does work extremely well and not a lot of people know about this technique i only recently learned about it myself and it knocked my socks off and i've started using my uh, victorinoxes to open tins with a bit more frequency even here at home in my kitchen anyway i hope you found that interesting and enjoyable please press like and share and uh, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon to let you know when a new thing drops. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a good one.